but uh, yeah, so that that's uh, you know obviously threat modeling uh, is is a, a big idea I think overall and and is probably a, a pretty you know uh, necessary practice. But in terms of where threat models live in an organization, you know what how how does that work? You know where do they sit uh, and you know how should they be delivered? All right, another excellent question. Um... At this time, threat model lives everywhere. It lives in a piece of paper on an architect's diary. Sometimes it lives on a whiteboard right there as an architectural diagram with a bunch of sticky notes. Sometimes it lives as a PDF document in somebody's email address, probably a reporting manager or a security officer's email address. Very rarely, again, this is the trend that we're seeing these days, threat models are a part of the work tracking systems that developers and operations teams use. So if you're using Atlassian Jira, if you're using Azure DevOps or Trello as your work tracking system, the most modern threat modeling teams actually deliver their threats and mitigations right into those systems. And the reason for that is we want, we as security want to, want to collaborate in a place where developers and operations engineers collaborate. And apparently that's where their work is. In conversations with product owners or business owners in an organization, they would like to have a single source of truth for their requirements. Now, if you give them a PDF document, a threat model as a PDF document, well, they're simply going to send it to a scrum master or a senior member of the development team and then say, can you create work items for these? And the next questions they ask, well, I understand, but could you tell us which are the important ones to be fixed in this list? So you prioritize your a list of threats or list of mitigations. And then the most ideal way is to put them in the issue tracking systems or work tracking systems where engineers collaborate. Because every sprint, they can at least pick one item into their sprint backlog and then keep improving security iteratively. Well, that's one way. The other recent approaches is where threat models live in version control systems as code. So what used to be a diagram and a whiteboard can now be codified into textual representation. In Microsoft Threat Modeling Tool, which is free, you can create diagrams based on a Visio editor. And then the Microsoft Threat Modeling Tool will actually give you a list of threats based on whether you defined a web server has HTTPS or not, based on whether the web server authorizes the request or not. It has its own rules engine, and it can actually deliver a list of threats to you. But how do you save that model? Well, you can save that as a certain format supported by the Microsoft Threat Modeling Tool, but you can also codify that same approach. There's a library called PyTM, which is a Pythonic way of writing threat models. There's also another new approach called Fragile. Fragile stands for threat modeling in Agile. So Fragile, fancy name. Also a great tool for writing your threat model descriptions prescriptively using YAML. It can live in your risk control system. It can generate your list of threats. It can also generate diagrams can also be integrated into your CI, CD systems, all of those. Well, well, you know, when, when you codify something, the possibilities of automation are just endless. Uh, fantastic. That's where, yeah. that's where we see threat models going forward these days. And also a lot of uh, commercial tool vendors are also realizing this. And there are also tons of integrations between work tracking systems. So right within an enterprise threat modeling solution, you can actually integrate your work tracking systems where developers collaborate. So your threat models live in, in the enterprise solution, but the outcome of that threat model, which is the work to be done on a software, the mitigations for a threat, they're actually connected to your work tracking systems such as Jira and Azure DevOps. I hope that puts some things in perspective yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Everything is code is uh, is really the direction, and uh, it's great to see that.